All right, then. Hello, guys. Today I'm gonna be doing a new my uh, Lord of Seco Lord of Seco Live challenge, and the Lord of Seco Live or Seco Live in Seco injection. Uh, the problem I'm gonna be doing today is gonna be called Dark Elf, as you can see right here. So Dark Elf, and with this challenge we have, it's the same thing as usual. We're giving uh query for the most part. We can only control PW, so I have PW set right here, so I can just type in whatever right here. Hello. And we just see a pop out right here. So the only thing or problem with this, uh, I guess, with this uh, code is that for the most part, we have another set of uh, filters. And it looks like it's filtering out OR and AND operators. So that means we're not allowed to type OR. So we just type, simply type OR. Go we'll get a filter saying hee hee. So we have to find a way to, I guess, bypass this. And if you guys don't know, in coding or in programming in general or could also be represented as this or we just wait for this so with or it could be res represented either as sticks to sticks or the or operator or the or it looks logical logical operator so you could use this as a as like as a way to bypass it and we just look up logical or my sequel uh what does it mean my sequel is or a logical operator my sequel operators compares to logical or my sequel is it it's logical operators we'll just wait for this Anyway, that's one way you could bypass this, bypass this challenge. So if we just type in what we should do, which is just usually set this as empty, and then oh, it says right here logical or 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 with two sticks. So yeah, you could do this in MySQL, which is pretty cool for the most part. So we we'll go back right here. Oh, I gotta press this. Let's see this open here. Or select or 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 yeah see if he's or, or that so we'll just do this what we will do what we usually do we'll close this and after that we'll just write or with the two sticks or ID is equal to admin and if you guys know the first part is set to, set to false while the second part is set to true because we know there's a ID that sets the ID is supposed to equal to admin and that in the database there's probably an ID that equals to admin. And then what we could do after just comment it out or comment uh the rest of the SQL query. So we could just do something like this. And then boom, we solve the challenge. Uh let me see. Oh I'm actually kinda curious. I wanna see if this changes anything. Oh yeah, so yeah, we wanna be able to comment out I guess this uh this uh quotation mark. So I'll just like do that and then boom. So I guess this was causing the error. So anyway, you guys know comments comments this out. We have ID equals admin. So go run ID guest and password. We didn't put in a password, so is this is gonna be false. So I'm guessing there's supposed to be a password. And then select an ID from Palo Elf where ID is equal to admin. We do know that an ID is has to equal to admin because it says right here ID equals to admin. Right here prints the result ID. It prints out the result which is admin and then if result id is equal to admin it solves it which it is and it solves it for the most part so yeah that was about it for this challenge hope you guys learned something new uh, i guess the thing you were supposed to learn is that i guess or could be represented in two ways so is and with two um with two uh ampersand no not percent signs not sure what these signs are called to be honest but anyway yeah that was about it for this challenge anyway that was about it peace